Hey, what's going on folks, it's Mike here, and today I want to go ahead and answer a question I get very often, which is, what book should I be reading as a graphics programmer? And I'm also going to address an issue here about where do I start if I want to be a graphics engineer or have a graphics career. And as of this year, 2024, I think the advice will remain relevant for the recommendations that I'm going to give you for a foreseeable future. Uh, but anyways, here, let's just go ahead and dive into it. So I want to go ahead and start with some free resources that are available online here and roughly in the order that you can pursue them. So the very first resource that I really like if you're interested in graphics programming is to go through the ray tracing in one weekend series. Even just the first book, you can complete it literally in one sitting or at least get enough done in one sitting that I think it'll get you excited and you'll get a little bit of a preview of what math is important. And then as mentioned, the other two books are very nice. Again, these are literally books that you can go through in a weekend or at some pace and actually finish them and come out with something that's cool, makes you a better programmer because you're working on a relatively large scale project and is doing real graphics work like you would in a ray tracer for generating movie images and then you can animate it and think about other ways to extend this project. So a really great place to start your graphics career and it is free, which is even better. Uh, and it's the code is written in C++. Uh, as I'll mention, I'll give myself a plug for my C++ course here or C++ lessons. Um, but of course you could translate into other different languages. Sometimes that's just a good exercise to do as well. So do take a look at this resource. I really, really like these books. I use them in my own teaching and I think they're great. Now, if you're getting into graphics programming because you want to do games or something, you're going to be needing to use some application programming interface or API that allows you to get access to your graphics card or your GPU so that you can run uh, the best games and draw the best pictures possible. So for what I'm going to recommend is learnopengl.com. It's a free resource here. Uh, and it's really nicely written. There is a print edition of the book as well if you want to support the author of this website. Uh, otherwise, there's um, ads and so on to do that <laughs> as well. Um, but just going through this um, text here, we'll give you a look at a modern API for graphics, OpenGL 3.3. Now, I know there's Vulkan, DirectX 12, uh, Metal, Web GPU, and these are other good uh, APIs, but I think OpenGL still lends to uh, the most friendly introduction and it's supported on most every platform available. So in that way, it makes it great whether you're on Windows, Linux or Mac, you can use up to OpenGL 4.0, uh, which is really starting to introduce a lot of those features. And why I recommend this site is it does a nice job uh, introducing the code, but not necessarily all the code sometimes. So you have to do a little bit of work, although there is a repository of resources available uh, that you can find. Um, but I think it's a really nice introduction and the sequence as far as the topics that's laid out is uh, pretty decent here. And again, because it's a free resource, there's no sort of barriers to entry for you. You just have to put the time in. Uh, now, again, I can go ahead and give a plug if you want to supplement this resource uh, from my site here. If I scroll down, there is an OpenGL series here on YouTube as well, so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, so anyways, learnopengl.com, very, very nice. Uh, another free resource that's available because if you're going to be a graphics programmer, you actually get to use all that math that you learned in your school. So the gamemath.com or the game math book, um, the second edition of this book was very generously uh, given here uh, for free, as you'll read here, and it gives a good introduction into uh, most of the math, honestly, you're going to need as a graphics programmer or a game programmer. Um, so let's go ahead and click on the table of contents just so you can see here. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Um, and it's also written in a fun style here. Uh, I believe this is by Fletcher Dunn and, uh, yeah, Ian Parberry. Um, so they've done a nice job here. Uh, if I scroll down, you can see the table of contents here. So getting used to, uh, 2d and 3d Cartesian coordinates, uh, some math perspective, but they talk about other things like vector spaces, uh, you know, linear transformations, which is sort of the fundamental idea with uh, linear algebra. Uh, you learn about dot product, cross product, all the different types of rotations uh, that you do with things here, uh, different types of uh, tests and intersections, all these, these things here that are useful um, in a uh, graphics engine or for rendering. So this is a really nice supplement. Again, you don't have to read all of it at once. You can usually you know, kind of as you go, pick up these topics or read a chapter here. Um, and with this, I'll also give another supplement here, uh, immersivemath.com here with their immersive uh, linear algebra book here. Uh, again, this could be a great supplement again, as you read, for instance, in the game math book uh, on vectors, um, you know, they've got interactive exercises here. Let's scroll down here. And most of these you can move around or toggle or change something uh, to see some of the different uh, applications. So here's, you know, uh, 
scalar multiplication and so on uh, as it's describing and can play around with this. So it's really, really nice. Uh, I know there are apps and things like Brilliant and so on that have these sort of interactive applications, but uh, here's a free one that you can uh, play around with. Uh, also on sort of the math domain, we'll get in the graphics books uh, in a moment here, uh, Scratch Pixel um, has some nice articles as well, which might be useful, again, going back to the ray tracing if you just want to understand what's going on, but as well as understanding uh, some of the hardware stuff. And I think there's some tutorials here on ray tracing. There's also stuff on rasterization, which gives us our hardware look at things. Okay, uh, now uh, let's go ahead into some books, some physical copies of books. There might be ebook versions of these, but again, I'm a fan of physical copies. Um, so as we've been talking about math and supplemental resources, I do like Foundations of Game Engine Development by Eric uh, Langell here. Uh, the reason I like this book is you'll see the thickness. It's uh, not a very big book, but it'll show you what you need and the code, uh, the C++ for building a math library. Literally the first chapter uh, is teaching and showing you the fundamentals of vectors and matrices uh, that you need. And again, um, you know, this is a nice uh, text uh, for that reason here. So uh, that's sort of my first uh, recommendation for math and then the game math book. That'll get you pretty far uh, as far as what you need. Uh, now let's go ahead and dive into some of the graphics uh, books that I recommend. And again, I'm going to be giving OpenGL recommendations here because I think it's a great place to start. Um, I know there is Vulkan and WebGL and so on, but if you're just getting into graphics, I think these are great uh, resources. So uh, beyond my YouTube series, again, uh, you could supplement that nicely with some of these books. I actually really like this book here, uh, Computer Graphics Programming in OpenGL with C++ uh, by Scott Gordon and John uh, Clevenger. Uh, this is a nice book here because it's a very gentle as far as the amount of C++ that they're doing. Um, it's relatively friendly written code. They're not trying to do anything super, super clever, uh, but there's lots of examples. The presentation of the order of the topics is very nice. I found this is a very nice and gentle uh, book. So if you're taking a graphics course or just self-studying, I found this with learnopengl.com and my videos might be a nice uh, place to really get through things. Um, it's got the, uh, well, I've got the uh, CD with all the code in it, so you can go ahead and uh, check this out. And the particular hardcover I have has nice uh, colored pictures as well. Uh, so again, I recommend that uh, as your first sort of OpenGL book, as well as, again, it's not too heavy on C++, it's trying to do things like I do, keep things uh, simple uh, and approachable. Uh, once you finish that book, I actually uh, like this uh, text here that I have, uh, OpenGL Shading Language. This is the third edition, um, and it's doing stuff with OpenGL 4.6, uh, so the latest version, again, so you'll see. Um, a lot of examples, a lot of code, because you'll just want to be maybe doing some things uh, that supplement this uh, particular text here, but um, you know, different versions of things. Uh, there's some, some more advanced topics in this book versus the other book uh, and vice versa. So there's a good range of uh, topics in this uh, OpenGL shading language cookbook here. And again, this is the uh, third edition that I'm looking at. Uh, again, why I like this is it's a very pragmatic uh, book because it's uh, pretty motivating. It also just gives you a second view into some of these topics uh, that you'll encounter in the first book. Uh, so that's the idea there. Uh, now for my third recommendation, this one's actually not specific to uh, OpenGL or DirectX or any real platform. I think they might use some samples in various languages, but uh, Fundamentals of Computer Graphics, I think there's a fifth edition now uh, by uh, Peter Shirley, who you saw was the original author of those uh, ray tracing and one weekend books uh, and Steve Marshner. Um, I'd recommend grabbing a text like this. There's also what's known as the uh, Computer Graphics um, Bible that was originally by, I think the Folly and Van Damme. Um, you know, the reason I'm recommending this one, again, nice colored pictures, you could probably find it online. Um, but this is again telling you the foundational principles. Uh, so after you use something like learn OpenGL and get, you know, some triangles showing up and these types of things, um, it's nice to know and understand all the, the details. Why do we have, you know, MIT maps, how exactly texture sampling works. Um, it also has different uh, primers as well. So you can, you know, still use this early on in your journey. Um, I mean, this is a book that's meant to be read uh, through your university journey. And as I'm just looking through the uh, table of contents here, it's got really nice uh, introduction and again, refresher to the mathematics. Again, uh, that game math book that I showed you that was free, you don't have to read that all before you start, um, you know, get started. Most of these texts are going to have the first chapter or two on mathematics. But I think this is a nice sort of book you can... Um, 
you know, almost read on a couch <laughs> in some ways after you've done some implementation say, oh, okay, that's why I'm making this OpenGL function call because it's implementing some of the principles uh, that are in this book. So uh, again, that's my next recommendation. Fundamentals of Computer Graphics. I believe there was a fifth edition released here uh, by Marshner and Shirley. Uh, now, my final uh, book that I'll also recommend, again, on the OpenGL uh, side is the Red Book here. Uh, I've got the ninth edition, a hardcover of it that, again, is using uh, OpenGL uh, 4.5 stuff and 4.6, so sort of the um, uh, all the newer stuff with OpenGL that really, um, if you program OpenGL uh, in this manner, it is starting to get you to what Vulkan is doing, right? It's got some really nice abstractions, and again, uh, that's the reason why I still like uh, teaching OpenGL and still have the video series uh, alive and well in OpenGL here. Um, but anyways, with this text, um, again, I've uh, I've read through almost most of it at this point. I've spent my summer doing this. Um, but uh, the reason for this text, uh, I mean, it's a it's a good reference if you're going through one of the other first books. Like for instance, if you want to go through computer graphics uh, programming with C++. Uh, this text here again, sorry, I'm waving all the text around. Um, but the reason is this is going to tell you exactly all the nitty gritty details. So if there's some function call that you didn't understand why we're doing it or why we had to pair it, this book is going to explain why. Okay. So, uh, that's why I recommend it because it's nice to have the reference here. Um, you know, this book you can kind of think about as the, uh, a more verbose version of the OpenGL specification. You can always look at the specification of OpenGL, but, uh, again, that might not be a, a first place as a learner you want to look, but this will kind of explain it uh, again with some more uh, text and examples. Um, and it also has a lot of example source code that I think is very useful. And again, they're trying to keep it minimal. It's stuff that's got to fit uh, on a few slides <laughs> or a few uh, you know pages, uh, I should say. So that's a nice text here. Um, so with that said, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got other recommendations, if you're someone already deep in the graphics world. Um, you know, we could talk more about the sort of, should I be learning Vulkan and starting there? Again, my opinion for the purpose of this video is just go ahead in 2024, start with OpenGL. I think it's fine, learnopengl.com to get the principles, get excited about graphics, learn some of the mathematics and play around with it there. Uh, then you can move around to the Vulkan stuff. Again, that's the answer to that's gonna be a little bit different for everyone uh, as far as what APIs you wanna use, but OpenGL is great for learning. These are some resources I think that are great for uh, if you wanna pursue your dream in graphics or games or VR or whatever it is. Uh, these are some of my recommendations. So I hope you enjoyed that. Anyways, folks, as always, as I mentioned earlier, feel free to check out uh, some of my resources here, the OpenGL series. Uh, maybe we'll do some more graphics and math stuff in the future as well, so stay subscribed. Uh, if you need language support, we have that here. And if you're just getting started and want to do like some C++, I've got a course here. Uh, debugging is also going to be very useful. Uh, and then if you're in the Vim land of Vim versus Emacs, uh, you can check that out. <laughs> I've got other free videos on my website available as well. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, and again, uh, curious to hear your discussion. If you've read any of those books, if I've missed some, there are a lot of great texts. Again, this is a field that's been around for uh, quite some time, but I think this is a good uh, modern list here. And you can certainly get started with just the free resources that I mentioned at the start. Anyways, folks, thanks for your time and attention, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.